So Cloudflare, I've been talking about it for years and I'm a huge fan, but something I haven't done recently is a practical tutorial to show you how to set up Cloudflare on your website the right way. This video is sponsored by Liquid Web, more on that later. So I'm here at Cloudflare and the first thing we need to do is sign up for a free account. Once you get your account, websites are billed on a per website basis, but they do have a free plan, which is great. And you can have as many free websites as you'd like within Cloudflare. Now that I've created my account, I'm just going to go add a site in the top bar right here. And I'm going to start with my domain name. Now here's where we pick a plan. And as you can see, there's a free plan right here. We just click get started. That is what we want. In the past, Cloudflare has kind of buried this free plan under these three options. So if for whatever reason you load a different version of this page, just scroll down, the free plan will be there under all these options. I can assure you there is a free Cloudflare plan. It's not going anywhere, but thankfully it seems like they've made it simpler. So I'm just going to say, get started on this free plan. At this point, what Cloudflare is doing is scanning the DNS records of our domain name. So if you are migrating to Cloudflare from an existing website, so your site's already set up, it's going to find all the DNS records that you need, and you'll likely be able to just move on to the next step. But if you're setting up Cloudflare from scratch, meaning this is the first time that you're using your domain name, or this is the first time you're setting up your website, this is the screen where you need to enter your IP address. But as far as getting your IP address for your server, you can get that from your host. If you don't see it in your panel anywhere, just reach out to your host support and they can help you out. It looks like Cloudflare has finished up scanning the DNS records and it's pulled everything in automatically. So I'm just going to click continue. And at this point, it's time to change the name servers on our domain. So I'm gonna go do that in the pork bun dashboard. That's where I've purchased my domain from. But you basically go into your domain registrar panel and change your name servers there. If you're not sure how to do that, you can find tutorials for your specific registrar. So here's the pork bun dashboard. I've got the name server section up right here. I'm just going to replace the default name servers with the Cloudflare ones. I've got the first one here. I'll go back over to the Cloudflare tab and copy the second one. And this is the thing about Cloudflare. They actually assign a pair of name servers to your specific account and everybody's account is different. So don't copy the name servers you see in the video on the screen because your account may have different name servers. But once you have created an account and name servers are assigned to it, you get to use the same name servers for every website within your account. So for my account, for every website I add to Cloudflare in the future, these are the two name servers I use and are not changing. The same is gonna apply for the name servers in your account. I'll take the second name server, go paste it in pork bun, submit that. And now my name servers are changed. I'm just gonna go back over to Cloudflare and say done, check name servers. Now, if you've ever changed name servers before, you know the drill. They say it can take up to 24 hours for caches to clear and DNS to update. But in my real world experience, it usually updates within about 15 minutes. Cloudflare is now inviting us to walk through their quick start guide. You could click get started and step through the wizard, but I prefer to edit settings myself at my own pace. So I'm going to click finish later. Now, Cloudflare may give you this message that the name servers haven't quite updated yet. That's okay. It's going to automatically check that the name servers are updated. And again, typically within about 15 minutes, the change will be made. I wanna walk you through how to set up DNS for Cloudflare. So if you've done everything correctly and you already have a website set up, chances are it copied all those DNS records automatically and you don't have to do anything else. But what if you're setting up your website from scratch? There's nothing currently on this domain, so it's not actually pointing anywhere yet. For that, I will go over to DNS in the sidebar and I can begin to modify these records. Your domain registrar may have put in some default records like mail forwarding and just C names and A records to point to parking pages. I'm just gonna clear all of this out and start from scratch. So I'm going to be deleting all of these text records and these MX records. Uh, they're not really helpful and I will show you how to point your website to your hosting account. 
So this is the DNS management panel where your DNS records will point to web hosting. Web hosting is the server where your website files live. And speaking of web hosting, that's where today's sponsor, Liquid Web, can help. Look, here's the thing. As you get more into web development, you'll need a hosting solution that can scale with you. That's when it's nice to have a hosting option like a VPS. Liquid Web offers VPS solutions starting at $15 a month. Their virtual private servers offer 10 terabytes of bandwidth, automatic backups with Acronis, and complimentary access to cPanel, Plesk, or Interworks. A VPS is an excellent solution for websites with growing traffic or freelancers who need to host multiple websites for a fraction of the cost of conventional hosting. If you're an agency or a developer, you could use a Liquid Web VPS to resell hosting to your clients and your VPS will be highly scalable. Liquid Web's VPS was super simple to set up and with three management panels to pick from you can configure your server to be exactly how you want to get your vps for just 15 dollars a month go to the link in the description below thanks to liquid web for sponsoring today's video and now let's continue setting up cloudflare so i'm back in the dns management panel and i'm going to show you how to add a basic dns setup for your website i'm going to be using one of my liquid web vps ip addresses to do this I'm going to add a record and we have a record already selected. Now, when you're setting up your website, you want to type at in the name field to point to your root domain. So right here we see our domain name. If I type something like website, that actually creates a subdomain, website.yourdomain.com. I want my website to just be mydomain.com. So I'm going to type at, and then that puts it on our domain name. For your IP address, you're gonna to wanna to get this from your web hosting panel. Since I am using my Liquid Web VPS, I'm going to go over to my Liquid Web server and just copy my primary IP address, go back to Cloudflare and paste that in. If you don't see your IP address in your web hosting panel anywhere, reach out to their customer support. They can definitely help you out. I'm gonna save this, and now we're gonna take care of adding www.compatibility to your domain name, because this is actually something we need to do. Some people are used to typing www. before a domain name, and believe it or not, this is not automatic. We actually do have to set this up in our domain's DNS. It's very simple though. I'm gonna add a record, and instead of an A record, this time I'm going to select C name in the dropdown. And for name, you could probably guess it's www. It's basically creating a subdomain of www. on our main domain. But lots of people don't realize that. They just type www. They're used to it, and they move on with their life. So for target, we're simply going to type cftutorial.online. And for context, you type your domain here, your main domain, and this almost acts like a giant redirect. It's going to route people who type www. back to your main domain so they can view your website. Now that we have our DNS pointed to our website, we wanna make sure that we're using SSL. An SSL certificate has become standard on websites. Google search, for example, will actually rank your website higher if you have an SSL certificate. And browsers like Google Chrome will say not secure on your domain if you're not using SSL. So it's definitely something that's a requirement, but the good thing is you don't have to pay for it. And that's one of the benefits of using Cloudflare. I'm in the SSL panel here, and by default, SSL is actually enabled, but I wanted to walk through what these options mean because it's important to understand it so you can be fully aware of what type of SSL is on your website and pick the best option for you. So obviously we could just turn SSL off and that's not such a good idea because then you're gonna get that not secure warning in browsers and your website is not encrypted. The basic version of SSL that we could do is flexible. What this means is you're still gonna see the lock icon in your browser, but it's sort of like a fake SSL. The connection between Cloudflare and the user browser is encrypted, so you will get that lock icon in the browser, but the connection from the Cloudflare server to your web server is not encrypted. So you could do this if you're like a blog or just a basic website where you're not collecting credit card info and you're not an e-commerce store. But in general, I would at least recommend full. 
What Full does is require an SSL certificate to be installed on the web server. Sometimes this creates an extra step with your web host to have to set up, but all web hosting has what's called a self-signed certificate installed by default. In other words, everybody should be able to use this full option without a problem. I think that's why Cloudflare enables it by default. Now, if you really want to step up your security to the highest level, you can use what's called full strict. And what this does is say you actually need a trusted SSL certificate installed on your web hosting account. You cannot use one of those self-signed certificates that your web host will automatically generate. So if you choose to use full strict, you either will have to get an SSL certificate from somewhere and install it on your web server, or you can actually go over to this origin server option and Cloudflare can generate a trusted certificate right here from within the panel for free that you can then take and install on your web server. One of the other benefits of Cloudflare is having fast, reliable redirects. If you've ever purchased a domain name and used your domain registrar's redirect setting that they have, where you can just type your domain name, you know that sometimes those can be so slow. If you just have an old domain you want to forward to a new domain or whatever the scenario is Cloudflare can help you do that and it's a lightning fast redirect. On the page rules screen here you can say create page rule and you can actually pick forwarding, forwarding URL. There's two types of redirects. There is permanent and temporary. And this is just situational. If you're forwarding an old domain to a new domain, that old domain is being phased out, you can select this permanent option. But if, for example, you're using this like a URL shortener and you're gonna be changing where the link redirects to regularly, then you might wanna use temporary. I'll just say permanent and I'll enter my destination URL. I can also put which URL I want to redirect. If I want everything to redirect, I can do slash and put the asterisk. And that's just gonna make sure that if someone types mydomain.com slash ABC, no matter what they type, it's going to redirect, or I could specify a specific URL to do the redirect. Now that we have Cloudflare all set up, I want to share a few pro tips with you that will help you maximize Cloudflare and use it to its full potential. First, there's some things you need to be aware of in the way of caching. When you are actively working on your website, you're making a lot of changes, it's under development. On this overview screen, I highly recommend checking this development mode switch and enabling it. What this is going to do is temporarily bypass the Cloudflare proxy or CDN. So that way, as you develop your website, stuff is not getting cached and you're not running into problems thinking you've updated your code or you've updated your page builder and you're not seeing the changes. That's very helpful for web development. The other thing you can do is if you're not actively developing your website, but maybe you just make a simple change and for whatever reason, you're not seeing it live, you can go over to caching in the sidebar and go to configuration. And where it says purge cache, just click purge everything. This is going to completely flush the Cloudflare cache so that way you can see the changes reflect on your website. I have had to do this before, so don't forget if you have Cloudflare enabled on your website and you make a change and you're not seeing it, go ahead and purge that cache. You also may wanna take advantage of Cloudflare's new email routing feature. It's currently in beta and it's a very high quality email forwarding service. So just like I was talking about earlier with the page rules and being lightning fast for forwarding a URL, Cloudflare also lets you forward email for free. So I could have Christian at cftutorial.online forward to my Gmail address or any email address I'd like. To get started with this, you can click here, enter your email address, enter the destination address, and then say create and continue. And Cloudflare is gonna automatically add the MX records to your DNS. Now you may be saying, Christian, what if I have email hosting elsewhere? What if instead of forwarding an email address, I wanna be able to use Google Workspace or Microsoft Outlook hosting? What should I do? It's really simple. You just go back to DNS 
and your email host is going to give you the MX records that you need to enter. They may also give you some TXT records. You can just go click add record and select MX or TXT from the list. You can also type in this dropdown to make it easier to find the record type. So right here we can add an MX record. I can add a TXT record and I can basically add everything that my email host tells me needs to be in the DNS. Then I'll be able to send and receive email with my hosting. So that's how to set up your website with Cloudflare. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment down below. Thanks again to Liquid Web for sponsoring today's video and be sure to get your Liquid Web VPS at the link in the description below. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time.